On page 252 of the textbook, you'll find problem number 82. Each of the exercises 81 through 84 shows the graphs of the first and second derivatives of a function y equals f of x. Copy the picture and add to it a sketch of the approximate graph of f, given that the graph passes through the point p. Well, I've copied the problem over to the whiteboard, and I want to draw a graph that could be the graph of y equals f of x. I like to think about this as graphing a potential y equals f of x. Well, I've gone ahead and put some marks here because I think those are going to be important places. And in fact, I will call this a and this point over here b because that's where my first derivative is equal to zero. Those are critical points. I'll label this point c where my second derivative is equal to zero. That might be a point of inflection. And I'm going to use the information in these pictures to draw number lines for the first and second derivatives. So looking at the first derivative, I'm under the x-axis before I get to a, so those are spots where my first derivative is literally negative, has a negative value. Between a and b, my first derivative is literally positive, and then after b, it's negative again. So I know whatever function f I'm gonna graph decreases until a, increases between a and b, and then decreases again and has to go through the point P. I can do a similar number line for the second derivative. My second derivative is positive and then negative, telling me that it's concave up and then concave down. And I should be more specific. I said it, I mean the graph of the function. The graph of the function is concave up and then concave down. So let's see if I can sketch the graph of y equals f of x. Well, I don't know. Let's just think about it in the kind of most boring way. I have to decrease until I get to A and then go through the point P. So I think my graph of f of x will have to decrease until I get to something here so that when I start to increase, I can go through the point P. So then I increase and I go through the point P. And I increase all the way to B. And right now I'm just dotting in maybe something to help me and then I decrease again. So right now I have a lightning bolt kind of zigzag, right? And that's not the graph I'm after because I haven't taken into account that my concavity changes at C. There's going to be a point of inflection right there. I'm concave up and then I'm concave down. Let's see if I can draw a function that now satisfies everything. I'm not really concerned about going through these, this point or this point because I just put those in to help me out. So I need to decrease until I get to A and then increase until I get to B. Oh no. Oh, let's go back. And right here, I was concave up and now it's supposed to be concave down and that's gonna help me out that concave down shape. And right here I have a max and right here I have a min and I was concave up and then concave down.